Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, I'm recording these lectures to support those students who missed earlier classes of O levels for the number conversions. So let us start with number conversions. Number conversions are meant to convert everything, every sort of data from every form of data to the numbers so that those numbers could further be converted to binary numbers. What does it mean? It means that no matter the data is in what form, when computer accepts the data, stores the data, shows the data, it is actually processed by the computer in the form of binary. So binary is a number system. So it means no matter if you are watching a movie, if you are having a look at a picture, you are listening to um, a song or whatever form of data, you are typing text, everything is being converted to numbers and those numbers then are converted to binary form. So it means that whatever the sort of data it is required to be converted to binary form so that it could be tackled by the computer. So first and foremost thing that you need to know is how to actually understand numbers in terms of binary and later in after uh, these new lectures, we will be studying that how to convert every other form of data to numbers so that we could save them in binary. So you need to understand that binary conversion is at the heart of everything when it comes to computers. So we have got three number systems that we have to learn at O levels. So this is specifically for O levels. Now, what are those number system? That is denary. Denary used to be called as decimal in O level and AS level. Nowadays they, they call it denary, but if you would have a look for denary over the internet, you will still find decimal the most. And then we have got binary number system. Binary number system and the third number system that we will have to deal with is hexadecimal. Over here, the word decimal in hexadecimal is same as denary. Means this number system is having all the decimal or denary um, digits in it as well. So as you can see that from denary to binary and from hexa to binary, binary is at the center of it. And if we would like to convert back, we can convert back from binary to denary and binary to hexa as well. So that is how we will move forward. So first let's take denary number system. So denary number system is the number system that we use, that we have been studying from the earliest year of our education. So denary number system has got these 10 digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You see, the counting goes on and on and on. But after nine, every single number that we count on, like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and onwards, they all are made out of these digits, these nine digits, okay? So you need to understand that these nine digits are actually distinct, different, and unique. Rest of the counting is created by different combinations of these unique digits. So this denary number system has got only these shapes with it and rest of the numbers beyond these shapes are actually made using these shapes. So these are basic, how many shapes? 10. So because the number of, and these shapes individually are called digits. So how many digits we have got? 10 from zero to nine. And for that reason, we also call it base 
टेन सिस्टम बेस टेन सिस्टम एंड देन वी हैव गॉट बाइनरी इन बाइनरी वी हैव गॉट जस्ट टू डिजिट्स जीरो एंड वन सो हाउ मेनी डिजिट्स आर दीज टू बट वी डोंट कॉल दैम डिजिट्स राधर वी कॉल दैम बाइनरी डिजिट्स binary digits or for short we call them bits b is coming from here and t s and s is coming from here so we also call them bits so instead of digits what do we call them bits so how many bits are there two different distinct shapes of bits only and that is why we call it base two system similarly we have got hexadecimal hexa decimal hexa means 6 decimal means 10 so this 10 is actually the same as this denary i told you that this denary is also called decimal so over here in hexadecimal this is not being referred to as denary rather it is being referred to as decimal so this is hexa and decimal this name implies that all the denary digits from 0 to 9 are the part of this hexa decimal and then we have got six more so that makes it 16 what does it mean it means that it has got denary in it which is in this case is called decimal which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and then we have got hexa as well hexa is counted afterwards as i said that every number system has got its unique different shapes to represent basic digits and from those basic digits they count further and they show number further so in hexadecimal number system they have got unique shapes from denary number system from 0 to 9 and afterwards since there are no other unique shapes either in binary or denary so they have borrowed shapes from alphabets but they don't call it a b c d rather they call it um uh, in counting form what does it mean so afterwards after 9 after 9 they call it 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so this is actually hexa hexa means 6 so further six shapes are added to this hexadecimal number system they these shapes are borrowed from alphabets but not in means of alphabets rather they are borrowed in means of digits so these are also called hexa digits and sometime we call them hex all right and how many are these 16 to 15 how many are these 16 so 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 digits so this system is also called base 16 what it is called base 16 so we are actually going to study the conversions between these uh three different uh all right so base 16 see so three different uh number systems denary binary and hexa so i introduced the terminologies the reason behind and the base all right so let's move on let's take denary number system first or we also call it decimal number system now let's say we have got a number 6352 we 
we call it this is unit this is 10 this is 100 and this is 1000 all right so what are these unit 10 100 and 1000 sometimes we call them worth and sometimes we call them weight weightings so these are single digits worth at that particular position so what does it mean if you place this two over here this would become 100 rather than unit if you place this six over here this would become 1060 rather than 6000 so if you change the place of the bit sorry uh, the digit then its worth will be changed and that is how we move on now the question comes that how do we come up with these words or weightings of the digits at these particular locations how this unit become unit how this 10 becomes 10 and how this 100 becomes 100 and how this uh, 1000 becomes 1000 so the answer is hidden inside the base what is the base of denary number system that is 10 so this is base 10 system it means that this 2 belongs to base 10 this 5 belongs to base 10 system this 3 belongs to base 10 system so this 6 is also from the base 10 system which is denary now the position of the digit is actually applied as the power of base 10 but you need to understand over here that in computer science when we actually call upon any counting we look at that counting in terms of the way we humans understand for example these are five fingers how many fingers do you see five so one two three four five wonderful every if you would say that i have seen five fingers and then everyone will understand that what you are trying to say i have seen five cars i have seen 10 aeroplanes i have seen six scooters motorcycles everyone would understand but when we write it we don't write it this way rather what do we write we will be writing zero one two three and four when we pronounce it when we make anyone understand that how how many things are there we make them understand the way these things are but when we pronounce it it is the same and if we write it down we don't start with one rather we start with zero so the first thing that you would look at would be zero the second thing that you would look at is one the third thing that you would look at is two the fourth thing that you would look at is uh, three and then fifth one is actually four so but that really does not mean that this fifth finger is actually finger number four no this is fifth finger this is finger number five but when we write it we write it four so for that reason uh, the position of the digit will be marked as the power of base so this is first this is second this is third this is four that is how the number systems work this is not just the computer it is also uh, in denary we have been using it all right so this is base and this one is what position so position as the power of the base comes up with words and every single digit when it is um, actually being placed in a number according to its position in that number is having a different worth all right and if you solve it now 10 to power 0 that becomes 1 10 to power 1 that becomes 10 10 to power 2 that becomes 100 and 10 to power 3 becomes 1000 so in that case every single digit will be multiplied with its worth and then their results 
are found. 6,350 and 2. And these results are then being added. And what you get? The value, the magnitude of the number. Since it is denary number system, both the input and the output are the same. If the number system will get changed, the output will always be in denary number system and input will be in its respective number system. We will talk about it later. Now, now let's have further dissection of this number. So the, the digit on the rightmost side, here the two, is having a worth of unit. So this is a digit, no matter if it is nine, eight, seven, whatever, or just two and one, it would always have a worth of unit. So this is called least significant digit. And similarly, if we take this digit on the left most side, then this is said to be the most significant digit. Why do we call it most significant digit? For the reason that this digit has a word which is largest than any other digit in this particular number. Secondly, if you pay attention, when we actually look at the worth of the number, we actually uh, talk about the magnitude from the most significant side to the least significant size side. So what does it mean? It means that we call it 6,352. I could have said that two units, 50, 300 and 6,000. That would not be wrong, but nobody understands that way. So when, when we try to evaluate the number in terms of uh, its worth, and we want to tell that what this number is to others, let's say these are uh, the amounts you have paid for something. So you would be saying that I have purchased something for 6,352 rupees or dollars or pounds. But this is how we read it. This is how we evaluate the number. This is how we actually have the understanding of the number. But you would, you can see over here that number is growing from right to the left, from least significant side to the most significant side. So if I add another digit to it, after six, that would have a worth of 10,000. So it means that numbers worth is growing from right to left. But overall, when we read the number, we read it from left to the right. Okay, so this is one more thing that I wanted to actually make you understand. 